Look at the wand. Can you actually see? Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Carmi. I'm UA, but you already know that. <laughs> so, this is getting very old. I promise I'll stop soon. <laughs> uh, today we are gonna do something that I am super excited. There is a full face of makeup that I own, that I believe is pretty inspired. Now, I will say very quickly before I start this video that yes, this video is inspired by Thomas Albert. I found him uh, very hilarious. He has a very dry humor that I actually found really, really funny. I feel like it is, it is my sort of like, very dry fun. Um, he was talking about how he decided to do this video, how his idea came across. Now, I will definitely leave down into the description the direct link from his original video. I believe he was the master of all these puppets, of all this, all this show happening. It was all down to him. So definitely, I want to give him a huge shout out. Yes, I don't even know if Thomas will ever watch this video. It's fine if he doesn't. I. I understand, <laughs> but I do feel like it is good to just tell him thank you for inspiring me today. So, I have a bunch of makeup in front of me, some makeup I actually um, got to be inspired, like they end up being inspired because um, I tried it, I tried it the first few times, maybe some, some of them actually even one time and I absolutely hated them and I will tell you what is when some others is um, it's just time for me to replace it so let me just sip mm. oh my almost actually now is empty uh, coffee but don't worry I have my energy drink let's just start now I'm gonna start really quickly with this little sample over here now <laughs> I was not about to drop some coins on the full size if I didn't test it first and this one is the Touche Club Bleu Primer I don't know why I put up this stupid accent I'm sorry if I offended anybody this is a blur primer by um, Yves Saint Laurent now some of you guys know I used to work for Yves Saint Laurent Okay, no, it's still, it's still okay. It's supposed to expire in 24 months, I believe. I've been having it just over a year right now. So, maybe it's not expired yet. That I personally think to put it on my face is a great thing. Um, I used to use it when I did makeup. Oh, by the way, to keep it really quickly, if you guys see this, um, this kind of like, um, abrasive it's a burn i uh, did my hair two days ago i was curling them and i burned myself and this will happen absolutely amazing <laughs> um so the truth about this primer i actually wore it only once um because uh, it's extremely silicon based and you guys know they're not my favorite um sort of primer i personally prefer more hydrating primer. Now, I will say it does leave your skin absolutely beautiful and it does make um, the application of the foundation really, really nice. Um, I would personally recommend a primer more like this with somebody with more of a combination to oily skin. If you do tend to be a little bit dry, um, there is actually nothing inside, I believe. That, uh, I don't know, I feel a lot hot and bothered already. Um, that is really gonna help um, the hydration, and you guys know I'm all about getting a little bit of water onto my skin. I'm thirsty. So, this is uh, the primer. Um, it blurs, um, it blurs very well. So, let me just move on. Now, we have this NYX Stay Matte Banner Flat Foundation. Now, you guys know me, I love this foundation to pieces. It is one of my favorites. Having used it in a while, I can see some separation. And the reason why is because um, I got the shade medium beige and it was way too old, like too, too dark for me. Now it's old, but uh, it used to be a little bit too dark. So, so I felt like every time I was using it, I had to use way too much concealer. And then other foundation came around and uh, I kind of forgot that I had it. But um, because I was talking to Tammy earlier today, she actually reminded me that I love this foundation because we were talking about the new foundation that is the NYX 
don't stop won't stop the one where Alyssa Ashley has um, helped to create the range and make it so awesome now that foundation is not out here in the UK yet um, there is actually no information on when it's gonna be out and I really 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 wanted to try it um, I'm gonna use this brush here is from blank canvas f20 um, I absolutely love this foundation and we were talking about and she said oh Carmi you know it's matte you have dry skin and everything but um, Alyssa does have more of um, a dry skin and I was watching um, Jackie Ina's video I love Jackie um, I am a Jackie fan um, and she does actually have oily skin as well um, so similar to like Tammy um, and what I was thinking I was like I want the foundation I wanted to try this shade right now is literally perfection on me that I have a little bit of tan um, so I was like you know if this foundation works for somebody with oil skin oily skin and with somebody with dry skin if it's a good good foundation um, that could be absolutely amazing similar to this one though you know um, Tammy loves it and uh, Tammy has um, oily skin and I have dry skin and this foundation works for the both of us so uh, I'm really really interested to try the new one I don't know why I was going to a huge tangent about it but yeah let me know guys if you want um, me to test it out as soon as it comes in the UK I actually am really really keen to test it out so let me just keep on blending this one very very quick all right, so this is the foundation right now and I do have to say it does look pretty pretty good on camera And it does have a very beautiful finish. I absolutely love this But because it's a little bit old, let me see if I can focus you um, You can see a little bit of like separation in some area and how it's not as like perfect and nice as it normally is I just personally think because uh, she's getting old she's getting old so um, next I'm gonna use this uh, Tarte Shape Tape now this one does say that it only has six months from the day you open it I bought this one last year in uh, May when I was in um, the US so this is very very old um, I'm gonna put it down I use a shade light medium now I will say I love Tarte Shape Tape I think this is a very revolutionary um, concealer however after this a lot of other concealer have stole my heart and I've been using more others and that's the reason why um, there is still some left even if to be honest with you it's pretty uh, finished right now so I will probably after today give it a miss and say goodbye to little old tart um, I'm gonna blend it with this E22 again from blank canvas and first start to like blend very very lightly underneath my eyes and then I'm gonna take back the foundation brush to just like work on all the areas all right so that was a choice uh, the concealer still performs really really well um, there is not really any kind of like separation there I can see um, I think the foundation underneath is already like a bit jacked so that kind of doesn't really help so I'm gonna move now with setting powder contouring and of course highlighting and I'm gonna be mainly use this palette over here you guys know it is one of my favorite high-end palette it is the Ilamashka uh, what's the name of you uh, sculpting palette now um, I bought this one I think it was the same month that I actually ended up starting my YouTube journey and that that was two and a half years ago so this palette is slightly old um, I will use the color still over here so the second to last and I'm using it on this brush here is F42 again by blank canvas and I'm just gonna like very quickly contour and look at that it is a very lovely uh, product now this palette it is old but the majority of product like powders and everything I know, for example, this one said that it has 18 months expiring and everything, but powder don't really, really get germs um, and they get completely off as much as uh, liquid, like bacteria don't really live on uh, 
powder um, as much when it's like if you have like a cream to powder um, blush or bronzer uh, you kind of want to be really really careful what you're doing so I'm just gonna take this one over here and bronze my face very very quick and uh, then I think I'm gonna use the shade uh, Cyrus, Cyrus, there is this white one over here on this F42, thank you, but blank canvas to just kind of like um, put it underneath my eyes so that I can set the concealer, as you guys could see. So let me just uh, carry on with my bronzing and then we are setting the rest of the face. For some reason, uh, this under eye uh, powder I don't know why it doesn't really agree with this rest of the makeup because I find that like there is a really white um, cast underneath. Like I don't know if you guys get to see. I don't know if the camera picks it, but I really don't like it. Uh, so I'm trying to like put bronzer all over the top to make sure it kind of disappears. But I feel like it's really accentuating my um, under eye area there. I don't really like. Uh, before I move into highlighter, I'm actually gonna go back in with, oh my God, these nails are so long today um, that I get so much trouble to opening things. Um, I'm gonna go back in with exactly the same shade that we did our um, contouring on this um, E20. And I'm just gonna bronze my crease very quickly. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because you guys are gonna see in a minute, we're gonna use um, an eyeshadow palette um, that um, disgusting and <laughs> um, questionable it is probably the only things that um, I get to say. And let me tell you, I wanted that palette so bad when it came out that it sold out and I end up getting my boyfriend to buy it for me off internet on eBay. And let me tell you, I don't really recommend buying a lot of makeup from eBay if you know the person is trusting. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. But a lot of like limited edition stuff of eBay can kind of be like a knockoff as happened to me before. Remember my scandal with Kylie Cosmetics? Um, but yeah, so let me just show you. We have done with this. Um, let me just move very quickly with my highlighter. And this one over here is the MAC Soft and Gentle. Haven't used this bad boy in, uh, in forever. Um, I don't even know why I bought it. To be honest with you, I think because I had discount <laughs> when I used to work for MAC, so I used to buy things that I even didn't need. But I, I know I put it in my kit and a lot of people used to really, really ask me for it. So, that's why it's not a bad highlighter it's just not suitable for my skin as much it's a bit too icy in the wrong way for me um so yeah i'm gonna just stop eventually again it's a powder product it is i believe it's like mineralized infused yes it's mineralized so um i guess these minerals have really come off <laughs> um and gone off it smells exactly the same so I'm just talking rubbish right now for the entertainment purpose, but um, yeah, it's, it's rubbish. Let me just move to the next one. And I do have this next um, product. I've done a review on this product as soon as I end up having my hands on it and then things really happen with this company that I decided not to really invest my money anymore. And I kind of got bored of the old kind of like aesthetic to be honest with you, but I still have it. And um, I still think it's a great product. That's the thing, it's like I like, when there is something to say and if there is something good about a company or a product, uh, only because I probably don't love the vibe, but that doesn't mean the product is bad. If the product is good, we need to own up to it. I'm here to tell you the truth and truth only. So this product is good. I believe they actually don't do anymore and is the Love Flush um, uh, Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush Wardrobe. Now this one was so cute, came with a mirror and then came with the six blushes. I believe these were actually the only six they used to have. I think now they have a huge collection. So they're more than they can chew, um, as in like, 
I think a lot of blush they look the same. I don't know. That's me. You guys know, blusher is my least favorite product to um, put on my face. Um, so I don't believe in blushes. Is that like toilet paper on my hands? I think there is toilet paper stuck on my pink finger. Great. So I'm gonna use this shade of the year. I will always love you. There are no was my favorite. Um, I did, to be honest with you, I do really like the idea of this palette because you get to really try um, the formula as well as the colors. And you guys see, it is a beautiful, beautiful blush. Um, it is quite old. If you guys still wanted to see the review, um, I will leave it down below. I'll try to remember. Um, but yeah, so... Hmm. Uh, I don't really shop them anymore at Too Faced. Um, there are some products that I still think are great. The foundation is absolutely one of my favorites. Been wanting to replace my empty one for like a year, but I haven't got to get one. We'll do eventually. Um, let's move to this product over here. There, I personally think. I don't know what I was. I don't actually really know what I was thinking. I think it was. The sporadic moment of me getting into fashion and makeup at the same time because I'm talking about this now some of you if you are really into your designer you know exactly what it is right away if not I can tell you very quickly that is a bunch of waste of money and it is an Yves Saint Laurent um, eyeshadow palette this one is actually the arty palette now when I open it it has a beautiful mirror when I see the colors <laughs> These are the colors. And also comes with this um, two little brushes. One it is a spongy kind of felt, like whatever. And the other one is a silicone base because apparently, and it's true because I tried it and it does kind of work. You can use this uh, quad um, wet and having this um, silicone thing what kind of help? Um, I know that I bought this palette for this lime green because I thought it was so unique to have um, a company that makes lime green, especially from luxury point of view. Um, oh God, that looks scary as a. Sorry, guys, I am terrible today. Uh, should we just should we just put it on? Uh, I'm gonna start very quickly. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Now let me start with the fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with this um, E41 and this uh, dark black shade over here. Um, I'm gonna try to do something. Now I will say very quickly, every single color onto this palette is um, shimmery. And that's why I had to lay down uh, um, like a matte transition shade. Now it is pigmented. Um, but not that pigmented. You know, it's like, I think this palette was retail at the time, was one of the first one that they had um, onto this kind of like format and everything. So I think it was like 42 pounds. That, to be honest with you, we need to remember that it is, oh, itchy, itchy. Um, it is luxury makeup, so it has the price that it has. Um, but I don't know. I think it's a bit rubbish, but we'll we'll try to make it work. We'll try to make it happen. I like that's the thing. It's like I wish if already they had one transition shade or even one matte shade, this palette could kind of be better. But I'm gonna use every single color. You know, I'm gonna try it. So let me just um, very quickly blend this one, and then we move to the next one. Next, I'm gonna go in with this E24 and this beautiful metallic shade. I do really think this does look gorgeous. And I'm gonna press this one onto my mobile eyelid. Now, I will say to be a palette that probably is about three years old, um, is still performing beautifully. Um, it's just for some odd reason, I don't really get down to the color story. Um, and I do feel like for the money, um, it's a bit too expensive, let me just say that. I think it's a bit too pricey, pricey. Um, but it still performs, it still look kind of all right. I think also it's like, 
um, this sort of colors, um, the old shiver vibe is really not my gem, but I think I said that already 20 million times, so I will stop saying it. Um, I'm gonna go back in just a little bit with the darker shade and just kind of like deepen up the outer edge. Also, without doing it on purpose, that kind of matches my um, aesthetic today, like my uh, hoodie. That, by the way, I have to get rid of this hoodie. Look what happened. Can you see this huge mark here? It's a stain, I think it's like oil or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but this is my favorite hoodie. And now it has to go to the bin. I'm so upset. Uh, I'm gonna go in with this e multi treat now and this uh, blue shade. Let's try it. And I'm gonna go in on my lower lash. Now again, I will say, and I promise you, this is the last time you heard me saying this. They are very creamy. They are very, very creamy. Um, they still feel nice to actually use. Now watch me tomorrow to have a huge sty. Um, I'm actually really don't need a sty right now. I have a shooting next week for something extremely so fun. Um, and uh, I really don't want to go there with a sty. It wouldn't be the best thing ever, but knowing me, I'll have a couple. Uh, I'm gonna go back and blend. Actually, I'm gonna go back in with the first brush and trying to blend the edges. Now, I will say to be like a two seconds kind of look, it's kind of going somewhere, but I'm very surprised. Um, and lastly, I'm gonna go in with this E23 brush. And of course, the lime green, the actually only reason why I bought this palette. And I'm gonna put this one onto my in a corner to kind of have a weird pop over here. I do actually really like it. Watch me now loving this palette that is completely inspired and it should be in the bin. So now I'm gonna go and try to find colors like this in every single eyeshadow palette possible. Now watch me. Is that me or this kind of look like some sort of cuteness uh, happening right now? I'm gonna go back in with Soft and Gentle on the same brush and kind of like just put it on the um, inner corner over here so that I can make this like lime green to pop a little bit more. Ooh, that looks yum. Um, let's just do some mascara. Now I will skip eyeliner. Uh, mainly because I don't really have an eyeliner and I feel like it won't actually really work um, So yeah, that's the reason why but I will use this mascara. There is a smoky lash by um, Makeup Forever Okay Now if I was not going to get a sty because of this uh, um, Eyeshadow palette watch heavenly with this one uh yeah so you guys also know that i hate wearing just mascara so what i'm gonna do um after i put on this um deliciousness i'm gonna pop on very quickly a pair of fluffy lashes as well as doing my eyebrows off camera because i seriously don't have any eyebrow product that they are um inspired so bear with me and then i'm coming back because we're gonna do lipstick Alright babes, so I did actually end up putting some black pencil and I did use my Squint by MAC and for lashes I use lovable lashes in the style Victoria and you guys know they are some of my favorite lashes ever especially this style because it just wings the outside and it is beautiful if you don't use any liner also if you're interested discount code down below save yourself some coins but um, and it's a big one. Um, I will say, and I will show you, let me see if it's focused. Uh, can you see all the separation on my um, forehead? Not cute, not cute at all. So yeah, that is what you get when you are using inspired makeup. Uh, it's not really that cute. So definitely it's gonna go into the bin. Now we are using the last product that is um, extremely, extremely inspired. Now I will say I absolutely love 
Jeffree Star and I absolutely love Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Jeffree for me has always been one of my inspiration. I love his being and I love his kind of like you do you for you and if you are following your heart and your dreams you don't have to be apologetic to people. So I absolutely love that. However, when a lipstick that you have purchased as three years is gonna go off. So uh, this is my favorite Jeffrey lipstick, is one of my favorites. Actually, my number one favorite is Dirty Money. This is my second or third favorite. There is Unicorn Blonde. Now this one was actually the first ever batch of Unicorn, uh, um, Unicorn Blonde. So let's get to show how old it was and be ready. I'm actually gonna show you a little zoomed moment over here. Look at the wand. Can you actually see the condition of this one right now? Like... Yeah. It's expired. <laughs> it is completely gone off. Now let me tell you, this has been on my lips so many times. I know Jeffrey always says to like shake them and everything. What's the point? Uh, I'm gonna try to just put on this lipstick. See what happens. Wish me luck. Let's do it. I will say it is a tad uh, extra dry. Uh, uh, it actually still kind of works. <laughs> now that probably will take me an hour. So let's just uh, keep on pushing. Okay, so this, I guess, is the best I can do. Um, it still looks beautiful, like this color is still stunning. And I will say one more time, absolutely loving Jeffrey, but it's three years I've been having this lipstick. How much could we really push a product? I think it's time for me to buy a new one. So let me just unleash this hair. And I will say, this look, it is very cute. Oh my God, this. This, this is so annoying, like it keeps going up. Like, honey, let's show people my my non-existent cleavage. Um, I do actually really like this look. I think if I had like um, new products, this could have kind of become a good look, but the products are old, like me. So this is the final result, definitely very smoky. And I really hope you guys have enjoyed. It was a fun video. It was kind of like take away the ease of what lately really YouTube has become a place of too much drama. So if you do like normal, silly, tutorials and everything let me know down below because i kind of want to feel like am i the only one that really misses the old days when people were just trying and have fun and they were ready for discussion instead of he said she said that they all said so let me know down below if you enjoyed this video make sure one more time if you want go and check out thomas original video that was so much fun so again thank you so so much my babes so don't forget to give me a good thumbs up say subscribe leave me comment down below as well if you can share this video help me reach the BB family that we love and deserve I really really want to hit 25,000 BBs by the end of the year and uh, hopefully it's gonna happen we shall see we shall finger cross all together and uh, always remember like if you like hate if you hate and until next time you're welcome